from Nationals Park in Washington, D.C., Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Minnesota Twins and the Washington Nationals. First pitch coming at you right after the break. So just about set now. And on the hill, the lefty, Mackenzie Gore. Chris, he's got the ability to take control of the game when he's out there. Well, incredible mound presence, and he's going to attack hitters. Look at that strikeout per nine ratio over 10 coming into this start. So he's a pitcher that wants the ball. He's aggressive. He knows that he can get the swing and miss, especially when he needs it most. We'll see how effective he is in this one. Ryan Jeffers, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. The pitch looked like it was a little bit up. That misses the zone. Ball three. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Breaking ball in there for a strike. It's a leadoff walk, and that's the go-ahead run. Here's Carlos Correa. And that drops in for a strike. Boom, the runner at first needs to be careful right here. He's dealing with the pickoff artist on the mound. Kicks and fires. And that one fouled off. And a pitch. Waves at the thunder for the strikeout. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Here's Alex Kirilov. And that's in there for strike one. Kirilov hitting third in the lineup. And though usually in left field, today he's the designated hitter. Jeffers stands at first with one out. Some guys don't like not being able to play defense because it helps them to stay in the rhythm. So for him to be the DH, we'll see if he gets a routine together. Oh, and two now. And that's downstairs and outside. Get on the ground to the right side. Into the outfield. Base hit. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. So first and second with one gone. And next for Minnesota, Jose Miranda. Runners on the move. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Drops into the glove, two down. Now the lineup for the Twins as constructed by Rocco Baldelli. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. First and second, two down. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Next offering is in for a strike. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. And that one is lifted in the air. Flying after this one. Makes the grab after a long run. 
And that's the third out. Twins strand a pair. Now it'll be Washington's turn. It's a scoreless ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here with my pal Singy and towing the slab, Pablo Lopez. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? And a guy like this is going to keep you in the ball game. He's going to go out there, compete. Not going to see a whole lot of flair and flash, but he's going to hand it over to the bullpen at some point. And if you've been able to score a few runs, you'll be in it late. So we'll see if he's able to do that for his club in this one. Here's C.J. Abrams to hit. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. See the velocity 97 with that fastball. Fall off foul. And Pablo Lopez will deliver. And that's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. Now the number two hitter, Ildemaro Vargas. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. Move to first, and he's back in safely. And the righty deals. Fouled off, he was late. And another ball. Way to lay off that pitch down. One strike. Runner at first with no outs here. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Buxton snags it on the run. That is true. The designated hitter. Joey. Here's Dave Martinez lineup for the Nationals. Not the highest team batting average for this squad. They're down towards the bottom of the league in total hits. And Singy, because of that, they don't score a ton. Yeah, and Boog, I'm looking for a little better performance out of them today. I mean, if they're going to be dangerous, if they're going to be able to create scoring opportunities, they're going to have to start making some individual adjustments. A lot of players in this lineup probably aren't happy with how they've hit the ball so far. So today's a chance. And there are two outs. Batting four. The third baseman, Nick Senzel. Now it's Nick Senzel. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Two outs. Yeah, so that's, that's outside and yeah, the count two and one what about him playing another position on defense one that would require a little more range absolutely and I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game it surprised a lot of people you might even be able to put him in center field kicks and deals a little bit high and now it's three and two Lopez gets the swing and the miss, and that'll do it. Second inning coming up from our nation's capital. No score.
back here in Nationals Park. Top of the second, Manuel Margot up to the plate. Manuel Margot. Gore back to work. That's Just missed. Ball one, no strike. There's the strike of the knees. And it's one and one. Dave Lawrence behind the plate today. Consistent and pretty accurate with the balls and strikes. Yeah, he's one of those guys, Spook, that just keeps the game moving. Nothing overly unique about the strike zone that he calls. And as a result, he's appreciated by both sides. That one missing inside. Chris, do players ever change their approach in meaningful ways based on who's umpiring, or is it good to just be aware of tendencies so you're not that surprised? I'd say the latter, because the pitcher's got to pitch to his strengths regardless. The hitter's got to hit to his strength. So you're aware of it, but you have to just hunt for what you can handle. And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four umpires, nicknames, hometowns, and as well, hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Next offering is downstairs. Base is empty, one away. Here at the top of the second. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The pitch. Got him. And it's two down. Cal Farmer up to the plate now. Just off the outside edge. Two out spaces empty. And it's fouled away. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. The one two. The shortstop <laughs> takes the ball. That one is absolutely belted. Winker raging back towards the wall. It bangs off the wall. Winker hurries it back in. And now a runner moves into scoring position as we look for the first run of the ball game. Here's Christian Vasquez. Swung on, belted. Winker going back. This one's going to carry, and it's gone. A two-run homer, his second of the year. It's 2-0. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. So the lineup flips over. And now for the Twins, Ryan Jeffers. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. Line drive, makes the catch, hitting over. But the Twins bring in two on the homer. And it's two zip. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom half of inning number two. And now the catcher comes up to him. Riley Adams. The wind and the pitch. Hit hard. Should 
the extra bases. And that's going to get into the corner. Around first, heading for two. And he's there with a leadoff double. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. Joey Gallo steps to the plate. And that one fouled off. Second. Little chopper rolls foul. Swings and misses, struck him out. Here's Victor Robles. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an in that that could change the course of this game dramatically. That clips the corner. With the tying run at the plate, bottom half of inning number two. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. He was really trying to stay back for something off speed. That's why he was so tardy on that swing. Wouldn't chase that time. Got him swinging. So back-to-back -back strikeouts now, and they still haven't managed to do anything with the leadoff double. Yeah, Boogie, and you just don't want to get careless here. You've done a really good job to get two outs after that leadoff double, as you mentioned, and just got to execute your pitches, and it's a non-issue. Here's Jesse Winker. And that one in the air center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is the third out of the inning. So one left for Washington. They trail it here, 2-0. Back in Washington, D.C., top half of the third inning. Now the left fielder, Carlos Correa. Correa. The pitch. And yeah, that skips in the dirt. And that one hammered. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Outstanding catch right there. And I love the commitment that he showed. He knew that the wall was close, but was determined to make that catch. And a nice calculation of just how much room he had to try to minimize that contact. Alex Kirilov, the next twin up to hit. Kirilov having a lot more success on the road this season. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Puts it away for the out. Now batting the third baseman. Jose so digging Miranda. in, Jose Miranda. He's 0 for 1. In the air right field. Corrals it. And that is that.
And we're back. Bottom of the inning. Here's the center fielder, number 30. And a pitch. Headed down the line. And that lands in no man's land, a foul ball. And the right hater deals. Good job to fight that one off. Next pitch is outside. And another ball. Two two on the way. On the ground at first. Sneaks through. Base hit. So now back to the top of the order. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. So the batting order turns over. C.J. Abrams digging in for the Nationals. Sliced hard, but foul. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Nobody out. Runner at first. Strike three on the fastball, and that ran back over the inner half. A well, big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound, no question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Ildemaro Vargas. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Runner on the goal. Pitch in for a strike. Throw there. Safe. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. And the next pitch is way outside. And a good eye there. Boy, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Vasquez gathers, throws, got him. Two gone after the strikeout. Nice job recovering to complete the strikeout at first base right there. Even though the runner from second does move up to third, it's not a big deal in this situation now that they're two outs. Just makes blocking pitches in the dirt to this next batter even more critical. Next for the Nationals is the DH, Joey Meneses. He's over one. That oh, one missed. <laughs> Tying run at the plate. Two balls, no strike. Finds the zone. That's strike one. And that misses off the outside edge. Nick Senzel waiting for a turn at the plate. 
two outs and a runner at third here in the last half of the third. And he pumps it a strike. And boy, that was the pitch. 3 1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Runner from third in to score. And it's a one run game. Well, back within one as he brings home the run. Nice line drive to both sides, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Next to hit for the Nats, Nick Senzel. And there's the strike. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps. Give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. Two outs. Swing and a high fly ball, deep left field. This one's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. So one run in the inning on this base hit. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. And now it's going to be Byron Buxton. The center field, number 25, Byron Buxton. Here comes a pitch. Right through there for a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Goes down looking. Wow, short work to send him packing to start the inning and no messing around either. All three pitches were in the strike zone, attack mode all the way, and that's pretty impressive given the pop he was dealing with at the plate. Here's Manuel Margot, 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Right through there for a strike. One out, base is empty. Swings through that one for strike two. And now the lefty. And a curve misses outside. Fights that one away, still one and two. One down, base is empty. That two one way outside, two, two and two. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Two down. Now batting, the first base. Carlos. Two outs, base is empty. Carlos Santana, the next twin up to hit. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Slice to right. And that is that. Twins are set down one, two, three, but they still lead it two to one. Bottom four. And the batter now, Riley Adams. The catcher. Riley Adams. The right hander back to work. And that's downstairs and outside. In the air out towards right center. 
Marco on his horse makes the grab on the run and there's one down. Well, that's a play for the highlight reel right there, Boog. No doubt about that. A great showing of footwork, range, and athleticism from the outfielder. And what a moment to pull it off. It won't be the last time we see that play. Gallo in now. Takes ball one off the plate. Holding on to a one-run lead. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And another ball. Hard liner. And they take care of Gallo for the out. And a couple of quick outs. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time off he'll find a hole. And now it's Victor Robles up to hit. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Santana makes a nice grab at a full sprint. Nothing doing for Washington. They're down two to one. Back here in Nationals Park. Now it's the shortstop, Kyle Farmer. Kyle Farmer. Gore back to work. Yeah. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. That one misses. And that's ball one. Inside almost got him. That's off the mark, and the count's full. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. That one drilled left field, and it goes just foul. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He sends it out of here. His first homer of the year, and they add a run. It's 3-1. Chris, we knew this moment was coming for him soon. Yep, and it finally came. We knew it was only a matter of time before he's going to connect with one just like that. Just too good of a hitter at the plate. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. So here's Christian Vasquez. He's already homered here in this one. Ball one, no strikes. Nobody on, nobody out. And we're at the top of the fifth. Right through there for a strike. One and one. That's the third. Zips it across. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Up next for the Twins. The second baseman. Back to the Ryan. leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. Brian Jeffers. The next twin up to hit. Pitch is in there. It's all wrong.
That's a little bit low. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. The pitch. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. One down, base is empty. Ball two. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. The 2-2. Two -two. And that's in the dirt. Outside, and that is ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, a game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Now Correa up to hit. Man at first, one away. One and one. In the dirt, blocked. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Activity in the Washington bullpen. Trevor Williams looks to be getting ready for Dave Martinez. Law getting cranked up as well. Oh. Wouldn't chase that time. Late on that fastball. I think he was sitting off speed though. And another ball. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And he deals. Down the left field line, base hit. Lead runner around second. Throw into third. In there safely. At the play, Alex Kirilov. Just missed. In the infield at the corners. Don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Runners are at the corners, one away. That one finds the zone. Now one and two. Good pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch. It's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. And downstairs. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Still 2-2 two two after the foul ball. At the belt and fires. Off the mark there. And it's a full count. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Punch out there. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at bat like that one. Now the Minnesota cleanup hitter, Jose Miranda. And a foul ball. Two on, two outs. Four left inside. Foul ball there. The one-two. 
Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Jeffers, the runner at third. Correa on at first with two down. Battling here as he fouls it away. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. That misses the zone. Two and two. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Swing and a miss, and that is that. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now a 3-1 ball game. Back after this on the show. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now up for Washington, Jesse Winker. Jesse Winker. The wind of the pitch. And a ground ball to first. He'll do it himself. Adam. And a quick out number one. The batter. The center fielder. Jacob. And now the center fielder. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. And that one, skips no into dirt. The Twins trying to close out a two-run lead. Last half of inning number five. Nope, Just missed. On the ground. Gets it to first. And a couple of quick outs. The batter, number five. Shortstop, CJ. So it's their last chance in this one. And the batter will be the shortstop, C.J. Abrams. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. Eight. And a curve drops in for a strike. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right now. That one ripped. And that gets down in the corner. Makes the turn and heads for second. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Now it's the second baseman, Ildemaro Vargas. And yeah, that's outside. 1 and 0. Oh. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Tying run at the plate. To the right side, Jeffers. Over to first, and that'll do it. And the Twins claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. I'd say you're lying if you say you don't feel a five-game losing streak. This W definitely helps them relax a little bit and take some of the pressure off from it going to a six, seven, or even an eight-game losing streak. And your final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.